Hi everyone. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the idea of still converting standard form to factored form, but the difference here is that we're going to be talking about what happens when b or c equals zero. So when converting from standard form to factored form, b or c may be missing. This means that b or c equals zero. Okay? So if we're looking at this, remember the original standard form looks like this. ax squared plus bx plus c. So if a term has an x squared, then that's the a. Alright, so in this case, a is right here. This would be a equals one. So b is the one that just has an x. This doesn't have an x, it's just negative 16. So this has to be the c, because the c has no variable. So c equals negative 16. So that means that b is equal to zero here. Okay, now let's look at this example. This one looks very similar, but again, remember if it's ax squared plus bx plus c, if it has an x squared, that means it's the a. So this x squared, oh, so a must equal 1 here. b has an x term. Does this have an x term? Yeah, it does have an x term. So b, in this case, is negative 16. Is there any last number that doesn't have a variable? No. So that means that c must equal 0. So notice how here c equals 0. In this case, b equals 0. All right, let's move forward. So we're going to use the same method that we actually used last time. We're going to use the diamond method, but we're just going to include the fact that b or c might be 0. Okay, so example 1 says f of x equals x squared minus 4. All right, so in this case, ax squared plus bx plus c. I notice that a is right here, so a is 1, but this term does not have an x, so this must be c. Okay, so I'll write it off to the side, a equals 1, there is no b, so b is 0, and c equals negative 4. Alright, so remember when you set up your diamond, in the top you've got a times c. a times c in this case, 1 times negative 4 gives me negative 4. B, however, is zero. And that's going to be the number at the bottom. So I want to add, or sorry, I want to multiply to negative four, but I want to add up to zero. If you think about the factors that multiply to four, you've got one and four, and then you've got two and two. So if you look at this two and two, if you had opposite signs, then it would work out is negative 2, positive 2, negative 2 times positive 2 makes negative 4. Negative 2 plus positive 2 makes 0. It's a 0 pair. So negative 2 and positive 2 is what this factor is out to be. So it'd be f of x equals x minus 2 and x plus 2. All right. Again, everything else over here is stuff that we've done before. So the x-intercept, that's x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 2 equals 0. I would add 2, add 2, so that means x is equal to 2, that's one x-intercept. This subtract 2, subtract 2, so that means x is equal to negative 2, so negative 2 comma 0. Okay. Notice that this time you would have to sketch your own graph, we're going to talk about that in a second. If you look at the y-intercept, last time we learned that if you look at standard form, this last number, the c, Okay, it must be c, is going to be your y-intercept. So in this case, it'd be 0, negative 4. If you actually wanted to do the work and plug it in, that would also work. f of 0 equals 0 squared minus 4. 0 squared is 0, minus 4 is negative 4. Okay, so let's actually start to sketch our graph so we can see what this looks like. I'm just going to draw an x and y axis. Positive 2, 0. That's 1, 2. That's this right here. Negative 2, 0, 1, 2. That's this right here. It's 
positive, those are my x-intercepts. My y-intercept is at 0, negative 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4 down here. And then um, I need to find my axis of symmetry. So notice that because the y-intercept is actually the midpoint, you're going to notice here that the axis of symmetry is right at x equals 0. And if x equals 0 is the axis of symmetry, that means that if I plugged it in, I'd get the same thing as the y-intercept, meaning that the vertex is the y-intercept in this case. So you get these three points, draw your parabola, and that is it. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. In this next example, b is not going to be 0, but in this next example, c will be 0. So let's look at it. f of x equals x squared plus 2x. So again, in front of here is a, so that means a is 1. b is the term with the x. So does 2 have an x? It does. So that means that b is positive 2. And c, there is no last term, so that means that c equals 0. We set up our diamond. That's a times c. 1 times 0 makes 0. And b is at the bottom, so that's 2. So again, we want to multiply to 0 and add to 2. This is actually going to become more basic than you think here, because if you want to multiply to 0, you just need 0 and some other number. 0 and what number add to 2? 0 plus 2 make 2. 0 times 2 make 0. So these are your two factors. So you could write it x plus 0, x plus 2. But really, x plus 0 is just x. So you could just write x times x plus 2. All right. So to find your x-intercepts, you take each of the factors, set them equal to 0. Your factors are x equals 0. Oh, that one's already done. And then x plus 2 equals 0. And then solve. Subtract 2. Subtract 2, so x is equal to negative 2. So you've got one x-intercept at 0 comma 0. That's from here. And this is negative 2 comma 0. All right, for your y-intercept, again, that's just the same as c in the standard form. And what was our c here? 0. So in that case, our y-intercept is just 0 comma 0, which we already knew from up here. So let's start to sketch that out. One of my x-intercepts is at 0, 0. Another x-intercept is at negative 2, 0. 1, 2 to the left, so that's negative 2, 0. This is my y-intercept, still 0, 0. So now I want to find my vertex. My vertex, I need to be based on my axis of symmetry. So what's the halfway point? Halfway between negative 2 and 0 is negative 1. So the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. Take that for the vertex, and this time I do have to substitute it in. So I'm going to do f of negative 1 equals negative 1 times negative 1 plus 2. That's negative 1 times positive 1, which makes negative 1. So negative 1, negative 1 is going to be my vertex. Left 1, down 1. So these three points are the beginning of my parabola. And I know it's going to look something like this right here. Okay, let's move forward. Here's the third example. I'm just going to end up with the third example here, and then we can do the fourth example in class. So this example here, you've got A. Um, B usually has an X next to it, so this means that the negative 9 must be C. Okay, so a is 1, b is 0, and c is negative 9. So again, I set up my diamond. a times c gives me negative 9. b gives me 0. So when I think about the factors of 9, that's either 1 and 9 or 3 and 3. This is what you're looking for. When two numbers are the same, then you can just put them opposite of each other. Negative 3 positive 3. Because when you add those, they make a 0 pair. When you multiply them, they make negative 9. OK. 
Okay. So now you've got f of x is equal to x minus 3 and x plus 3. This is your factored form. So you set up your x-intercepts, set them both equal to 0, x minus 3 equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0. Here I've add 3. So x equals 3 is one of my x-intercepts. Here I would subtract 3. So x equals negative 3 is one of my x-intercepts. Okay. Now my y-intercept, remember, is c in standard form. So in standard form, my c is negative 9. So 0, negative 9 is my y-intercept. I can start sketching my graph. I'm going to draw it a little bit taller here because I know I need to go down to negative 9. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Those are my x-intercepts, negative 3, positive 3. Then I want to go all the way down to 9 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's 0, negative 9. So now for my vertex, I need to first find my axis of symmetry. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces right here. So 3 on each side. This means x equals 0 is my axis of symmetry. And since I already know what I get when I substitute in 0, it's just negative 9. That's my vertex. These are my two x-intercepts. I can draw a parabola. Okay? And that's the video for today. If you have questions about example 4, feel free to ask in class.